Good morning, everybody. It's your boy Adam back with another Fat Too Chubby. So today, um, I want to touch base on, on a thing I call cheating the system. Um, I, I know a lot of people are trying different ways of kickstarting their fat loss or their weight loss in general and just getting onto a healthier plan. So like I've said in other videos, there's a three main elements, right? Changing your diet, eating more healthy, you're getting out and exercising, and then you're keeping that positive mental attitude. Those are the three main key things, but there's, a, there's that one secret that everyone has to you know, what, what, what made you super effective in, in your weight loss journey and, and what really kind of kicked it in the, in the high gear. And for me, it's a little thing I just call cheating the system. So I always, just as a person, I look for that competitive advantage. I am competitive. I, I want to win. I want to find out ways to unlock this, that, and the other, find that, that, uh, that Easter egg, so to say, and just really kind of break it all down for myself and just give myself the, 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 the most efficient path to success. So what I learned early, early on is if I start my day with a caloric deficit, then I'm going to be more successful throughout the day. And, and how do you do that, right? Obviously, when you sleep, you're already on the fast. So I took that to a little, little more of an extreme, and I did the 16-hour fast. So I was fasting from 7 p.m. 7 p.m. to 9 a.m. Uh, in the mornings, I'd have nothing but coffee, and black coffee and water. But what I would really do is I'd do a lot of fasted cardio. So as I mentioned in other, other videos, you really need to track everything. And I really like the MyFitnessPal app. And that syncs up with the Map My Run or Map My Ride apps, and they talk to each other. So what I would do is I'd get up, I'd do 30 minutes, 60 minutes of something, right? And for me, it's riding the bike. So what I'll do is I go out there and I crush it for an hour, hour plus, and I'd have, you know, I start the day already up like 12 to 1600 calories, you know, in the, in the negative. So I'd be in a caloric deficit of almost my daily total of of calories. So if I was on a 2200 or a 2300 calorie a day plan, and then my fitness pill app does all that for you, you just put your height, your weight, your goals, how quickly you want to lose the weight, and and you kind of go from there. So mine was like 22, 2300. But then you add that extra 1600, and all of a sudden you're pushing 4000 calories for the day to still maintain um, a path to weight loss. So what, why did that work for me? Well, first, it actually accelerated my weight loss a lot because of the days that I was hardcore eating clean and already staying under the 2,200, 2,300 calories a day, it was really like I was functioning on, you know, six to 800 calories a day. So I was just, I was shredding fat that way and it worked for me. But it also allowed me on the days where I didn't want to be hardcore to have that little piece of chocolate or that cookie or two cookies, or have the fries and the burger instead of having the burger with no bun and a salad and stuff like that. So for me, it was a way I learned really to cheat the system. It made me feel better about what I was doing. It gave me more ability to kind of tinker with my diet and find the right path for me. So you know, starting, starting your day with that, that caloric deficit is just a fantastic way to kind of pad the numbers and cheat the system a little bit, but really, even more so beyond that, when you start your day with, with a fasted workout, it, you know, it's, you've already done the workout, you've already done the hardest thing of the day is getting up and moving. And really, it, it puts you on a path to make better choices throughout the day. You know, if, if you don't work out, you wake up, you're sluggish, you kind of just you sludge through the day, that's when you're going to stop at the Kalaji factory and, and get Kalaji's or stop at Shipley's and get donuts and do, or stop at Whataburger or Jack in the Box and get all that greasy nastiness and really start your day off in a meal that's damn near close to your entire caloric intake for the day. Um, and that's another thing too. I mean, when, when you start looking at food, I know looking back on what I used to eat on a daily basis, I would eat like three to four days with the calories in one day. I mean, if you eat one amazingly delicious burger from Whataburger, that's 12 to you know, sometimes 12 to 1500 calories just for the burger. So that's like a whole day's worth of calories. And then add the fries on, I mean, you're screwed. Add a Coke in, I mean, come on. You're, you're just digging your hole deeper and deeper. So, you know, for me, again, I really just looked at it as like, how can I find the most efficient path to success? And, and this was really it. I mean, all the stuff I've read, 
all the research I've done really led me down to, okay, if you're trying to lose weight and you have X, Y, and Z body type, working out first thing in the morning is the absolute best thing for you to do. You're already on a fast, work out on a fast, you just, just, just start your day already way ahead of where you need to be, and the rest is really that easy. So that's kind of all I got. I mean, that, that was my way of really cheating the system. Um, uh, I guess the other thing that, I mean, if you're looking at food and, and intake, if you want to eat really large portions of food, uh, look at different ways of roasting vegetables. So that way you can get different textures and different tastes and eat a lot, but still keep the calories down. Just, just watch out for your seasoning so it's not high in sodium. But uh, I could ramble on all day. I know you guys don't want to hear that. I'm sure I already lost half of you guys in, in the uh, the rambling this thus far. So um, if you anything else, uh, feel free to hit me up on Instagram or, or Facebook on the Fat the Chubbies. Um, uh, otherwise, have a great week. Stay strong. You can do this. Remember, it. you're the tortoise. You're not the hare. It's going to take time. It's going to be a grind, but you can do this. But if you need to reach out to me, if you want advice, you want to talk, let me know. Give me a holler. Um, love you all. Have a great week.